Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Tuesday, the 26th of April, 2022. Uh, it is 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is at. Uh, <laughs> should have read this first, huh? 59%? I didn't think it was that high. Or overly high. 59 isn't bad. Oh. Let's see, that would be 29 degrees Celsius. So, nice clear skies. It's warm out. It really is. Just a couple of degrees makes it makes a big difference. So, well, that's a cute little table. No doubt. No doubt. Uh, anyhow. Uh, so, I started to do a video last night. Kind of just an update on the, the ramblings from yesterday. About you know, my shoulder and my leg bother me, and being concerned that it might be might be cardiac and all that. And uh, I start I started feeling better once I got out. I did a couple of uh, OTC over the counter medicines and. Um, just getting out and about, doing, being active, and you know things worked out. Worked uh, whatever problem I was having with my with my uh, with my arm and whatnot. So uh, any indigestion also got taken care of. I know that those are all signs of cardiac difficulties I've been I've had a couple of heart attacks different different types but uh, anyway I started feeling better after a couple of hours not even a couple of hours by the time I got to pick up the boys and was leaving, I was I was feeling a lot better. My arms weren't my arm wasn't really bothering me. And uh, got out to got out to my daughter's house and was able to take a walk around the pond and uh, yeah, so uh, uh, let's see, traffic is running a little slow here. Do I want to go this way? There's three traffic lights going that way. Uh, and that's if I could even get across the stupid road. My goodness, what's with all the traffic today? I guess we're going to go up on the interstate, even though it's a little slow, at least it's moving. Just bypassing it with a couple of traffic lights probably wouldn't make a huge difference. So, uh, let's see, who do I get to make me yield here? I guess it's going to be this truck since he's slowed down anyway. Flash in to give him a 
thank you, although I don't think he really did anything. Uh, I think he was just trying to find the right gear because traffic had already slowed down in front of me. Second favorite is also my second favorite, butter pecan. 
and that's what she ended up having, I would think. The son-in-law had cotton candy with uh, sprinkles or jimmies or whatever you call them on top. So, not that I am on a diet diet, but <laughs> there went my diet right out the window. Good. It was it was all good. It was tasty. You know, your whole thing's considered. I mean, I I enjoy spending time with all the all the kids and all the G's. So, and then we're back in the house. We were talking. They're thinking about selling their house because they can make a mint, and they've got another place in mind they can get cheap. So we're talking about that. And uh, the Jeep rack comes out and he's asking questions about his homework. He says, I'm not sure how to do this, but that's homework. And he walked up, he walked up to his mom, and you know, mom says, mom's fairly good at math and whatever, but he started reading off the equation of what he thought he needed to do. He's like, you know, you know, I have to be able to see it. So, and, and, like, do it out. So, he asked his dad, his dad asked him, you know, if they did something with uh, putting a line under it, multiplying it, and dividing it. Like, no, they don't do that yet. So, he said, but I think if I do blah, 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 and he's running off these different steps that you do and coming up with the number like 2.4 divided by 3 to the, by, divided by 3 squared he said that equals whatever the heck that equals I don't know and then you had to multiply it by something and then divide it again and he's doing it all in his head well, go write it down and then double check your answer on the computer. So he did, and of course he was right. We're trying to explain to him that you know, the teacher wants to see the work, and you can't just go next to the, the question on the paper and write the answer. The teacher wants to see your work. He said, But there isn't any work. He does it all in his head. So, anyway, trying to explain that to him. I said, you know, like, for me, I'm, I'm terrible with math, but when I do, when I when I break my steps down and, and do it out on paper, I'll put, like, one, the, the first procedure will be up here in one corner, the other one might be in the middle, then another one up here in the other corner, and another one down over here somewhere next to the middle one and you know I don't keep them in line or whatnot so yeah the teachers used to get mad when I when I hand in my work especially because I almost always got the answer wrong they couldn't figure out you know they couldn't they couldn't figure out how I did my work so they couldn't figure out how I was doing What the heck? This dude's passing people on the right hand side. What is he trying to do? Uh, some people. Anyway. And we are getting about to the end of today's ride, folks, so. Uh, let me know what you think give me a thumbs down or thumbs up leave me a comment wherever did y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice if you'd like to share me around your social media that'd be fandoculous if your loved ones are nearby give them a kiss and a hug if they're not give them a call 
Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. So I see y'all again. I hope you have a fandoculous day. So watch it, y'all. Ah, squirrel. Bye-bye.